Shalom. First and foremost, giving God praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakha Kwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahashom Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of quick news being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai. As you see right here in the article, critics warn of a dragnet of surveillance as the United States pushes ahead with plans for more smart cities. So, of course, it's just as the title implies. Quick news, the United States pushes ahead with plans for more smart cities. Okay, and the reason why this is major news or it should be considered major news is because, well, um, first off, you know, we all know that any city that is considered a smart city will inevitably become a 15-minute city. Now, if you don't know what a 15-minute city is, then why don't we go and look it up real quick. Let's just do some quick research on what a quick city is so you can get a quick synopsis or a quick observation of what a quick, well, what a 15-minute city is. Okay, Let's see, what is a 15-minute, yes. Excuse me. What is a 15 minute city? Okay. And if you notice, the word urban is here. What is the urban? What does urban mean? The word urban means city. Who mostly dwell in these urban areas amongst these cities and the United States of America? Our people do. Okay. So our people are living in these urban areas. So they're really aiming this at our people, okay? Okay, which cities are 15 minute cities? Barcelona, Bogota, Buenos Aires, Melbourne, you know, and these are all things you can look into, you know? Okay, um, okay, so it says, the 15 minute city FMC, that's the acronym is for 15 minute city, is an urban planning concept in which most daily necessities and services such as work, shopping, education, healthcare, let's continue to read this. Let's click on the link here. Okay. So the 15 minute city is an urban planning concept in which most daily necessities and services such as work, shopping, education, healthcare, and leisure can, ease, can be easily reached by a 15 minute walk bike or bike ride 15 minute walk or bike ride from any point in the city if you notice they did not mention cars so you must be a, a special certified person with a, a unique kind of ID to have a vehicle so they didn't mention cars okay this approach aims to reduce car dependency Okay, promote healthy and sustainable living and improve well-being and quality of life of city dwellers. Okay, so, you know, what they don't tell you about the 15-minute cities is that, um, you know, you're going to be restricted to that area. Okay, so you won't be able to, it's like, if you go past any area that's considered more than 15 minutes of that city, you can be penalized for it. So it's like 15 minute cities are being built from a series of a smaller five minute neighborhoods, also known as complete communities. Okay, so I mean, history okay so 
ongoing climate okay and I mean that's pretty much it but you have the idea so that's what that's what uh, it, ultimately they want these smart cities to be in you know why would they why would they make these smart cities into 15 minute cities well think about it inside of a smart city you have what tracking devices you have and everything is basically monitored and tracked. You have cameras and your street lights. You have cameras in your car. You have cameras in your phone. You have cameras in the satellites. You have cameras in the stores. So in a in a smart city, basically everything everything is monitored, you know. And it's only a matter of time when they phase away uh, cash and make it to where you have to start buying things using electronic devices because that's what it's boiling down to. Okay, it's boiling down to that. Having to, um, you know, having to, you know, make payments digitally instead of cash or using cash. So, this is what the United States is pushing towards in which smart cities is all a part of the, the new world order of the so-called elites because ultimately it's all about control so within these smart cities if you go anywhere that is past that would be considered a 15 minute mark then they can indefinitely detain you or arrest you they can you know pretty much do whatever they want with you and this is what the so-called elites this is what the US government wants okay you see second Corinthians chapter okay second Corinthians chapter let me see two verse eleven so let's read this okay second Corinthians chapter two verse eleven it says, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So we're not ignorant of the devices of these 15-minute cities, okay? Which, when you look up that word devices, it goes back to the Greek word naima, which means an evil scheme or purpose. There is an evil scheme. There is an evil purpose behind these 15-minute cities. You see? So, I'm pretty much going to leave it there. This has been quick news, quick and important updates. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom. It's on to the next one.